Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the Geeks and Tricks. I'm Ankurat, and today we're going to be learning how to block a software to access the internet connection. So stay tuned and keep watching. So welcome back guys. So now here the question comes up. Why do we want to block any software to access the internet connection? There might be a lot of reason but the most important reason is a lot of people don't actually buy software they just want to crack it. So here's the thing, if you crack a software and it just gets the internet connection most of the time the crack does not work if it gets the internet connection. So what do you have to do? You have to block the internet to the specific software because you don't want to block the internet connection to the whole computer right you just want to block the specific software so that's what it is so you're just blocking that software so that it does not get connected to internet and uh, as it does not getting connected to internet nobody knows that you're using that software as a, you know the piracy version or cracking by cracking it you know what i'm saying so it will run as longer as you want it to so that's what it is so now let's find out how we can block it so first of all just go to the windows search bar as i'm doing it on windows 8 so it's on the right side otherwise if you do it on windows 7 or vista it would be on left side right here all right so let's go to the search bar and uh, just type down there firewall and go to settings here and the windows firewall right here all right now once this window come up just maximize it and uh, here you'll find an option called advanced settings right here on the left side right just give a click on advanced settings and now there, there will be a new window come up like this and uh, here on the left side again just find the inbound rules all right right here under the windows firewall all right just give a click on the inbound rules now just see the right side there's an option called new rule all right right here just give a click on new rule and this new window will come up and here as we want to block a uh, software that's also called as a program so yeah it's already selected and click on next and now we have to find out if you click on all programs so all the programs will be you know disconnected from the internet connection but we don't want to do it we just want to block only one specific you know program right here so uh, in this case I just want to block the Wondershare Filmora that's what I normally use a lot of times you know so I like it so I just want to show you how to you know just for the demonstration purpose I just want to use that one so anyway just give a click on here the program path and now just browse that software so for example in this case I like I said I just want to uh, you know find uh, and block the connection to the Wondershare Filmora yeah so just find the Wondershare Filmora so Windows the local C drive you know that's a root drive now go to the program files and try to find uh, Wanda Share. All right, it's right here. And now the Filmora. And you just have to find the exe file, whatever it is. If if it does not on the C file, if it is on the other file, just you know go to the installation file just from here, and uh, just you know find that software. As you can see, this is the exe file or the you know application file right here. As you guys can see, this is the application file. In the root folder of Filmora, and uh, this typically be in the C drive program files, and yeah, you can find it from here. So basically, it's on here, and uh, just give a click on open. And now next, and here's the thing: you just have to block it, you know, block the connection. So now block the connect connection and click on next, and yeah, it, let it be checked click on next and now just type any name like for example Filmora and if you want to give any description it's totally on you so yeah it's actually done so how we can find it that it is done so just go to advanced again go to inbound rules and here as you guys can see this is a Filmora and you see all of them are like ticked right and this is like blocked Filmora is blocked see and here as in the action it see every other softwares are allowed and uh, this one is blocked alright so this is not connected to internet that's what it is it's actually blocked so yeah guys that's how you do it alright and uh, yeah if you face any problem just let me know in the comment section down below and I will reply you as soon as possible and guys if you like our video please don't forget to hit the like button and to get more videos like this please subscribe to our channel until then guys I'll see you on my next video peace out